Hello everybody, it's me PS333 here, and just letting you know, if you guys didn't see already on my raid video, I am back and I'm uploading the Black Ops series. And today we are on a raid, doing every single glitch we can possibly show you. I know there's probably some glitches that you probably won't see, like there might be the odd ones that we might have missed, but I guarantee you a lot of them you're probably going to even think are new, because if you didn't watch our channel, you probably never seen them. Because a lot of the glitches that we posted, a lot of them didn't bother, because some of them were pretty difficult. But we're pretty determined Glitch Clan likes to do everything we possibly can, we usually take it to the full extent that we can, so. You'll probably see a bunch of new stuff, hopefully, I would assume so, in this video. We have several secret rooms, you can actually run on water out here too if you have a really high health class on, it's kinda cool. But we're gonna show you several different roofs, some secret rooms, some hiding spots like that, all out of map area. Pretty epic, we're gonna go around the entire map, it's pretty cool, I'm gonna be showing you tons of things in this video. So let's get started. Once you get outside, you're like doing a by reach. You can go straight ahead of me in that water in that direction, but I like to go this way because I, I like to go from easiest to hardest. It's just nicer doing that way. I just want to show you, you can run on water. It's kind of cool. It's a really technique if you want to get over here. It's an easier way to do it, like that. So that way you cover a lot of ground. You can start throwing carabies here if you want. But instead, what we're gonna do? We're just gonna go this way. Start throwing down some carabies, and you're gonna do a little carabies chopping over here, and then you get over to this road. That one I was kind of missed there. But once you're here, just try it. You don't need to make it that close unless you're really bad at jumping. Just holy, I almost got hit by the one. But anyways, so once you get over here, get yourself a tactical insertion. I can show you this um, balcony inside. I don't know what the heck that abomination of a care bag is doing over there on the wall, but it's kind of strange happens though. Anyways, just make like a stack. You can get into the second window, but just to let you know, the second balcony is fake. Like you will drop through the first balcony, but I'm just showing you can get on top of the actual window ledge. Just so you guys know. For reference, I'm gonna speed up because it took me a while to make the stack, I'm pretty sure. We have a bit of difficulty. The stacks always take a while, so I might be skipping a lot of that during the video. But hopefully, guys, you enjoy these videos that are coming up with all the Black Ops series. I really hope you guys enjoy the Borderlands glitches. Once again, if you guys don't get it, and you guys don't know what, what Borderlands is, it's a really fun game. It's a four player, all co op, like, role playing game so much in it, thousands of weapons and all that. It's a really fun game, you guys, and if you guys want to like do it, I guarantee you guys you'll love it because there's tons of glitches that we're posting on it right now. Con, Sono, and 5 Star Scales have all been doing a fantastic job uploading tons of these glitches on the game. It's absolutely pretty good. I was really impressed that they actually kept the channel going when I was gone, which is great that they are. Okay, but I know I haven't been getting many views lately, but I strongly recommend you guys get the game. It is so fun. Four player campaign game. Thousands of guns, just driving in it. It's just so much fun. And the game will last you days to beat, so I highly recommend it. Anyways, once you're over here, get you once you get to the end of the road, make your way over here and throw a few carrots and get a stack in here. By the way, do not try to throw grenades in here, they will stay within the area that you throw them. So it, it thinks what you're inside of is a solid mass, and you throw a grenade, it's just going to be motionless. It's going to sit and still there. So be really careful when you're doing that. If you want to put a tactical insertion up there, you're going to have to bring it with you or get another ammo on your way there. It's just hard because you can't throw a care badge when you're on there, right? Because otherwise it's going to land the roof on, on top of you. Instead, make your way over here. We're going to start going around the whole map now. And I'm sorry by the way if my computer sounds like it's roaring because like my fan sounds like it's crazy right now. I don't know what the hell's going on. But over here this glitch took me forever at this time. I have no idea why. I freaking hate this one. My friend got I think once or twice. Really annoyed me how fast he got it. But you're gonna have to make at least an eight stack when you get over here. I'd recommend you playing on your tack because this stack can't screw over. Just make sure that you get your tack a little farther away. Let's speed it up here. And once we get the stack going, what we're going to do is we're going to try to chuck one on top of the roof here. And once you get to this height, you're pretty much touching the sky barrier right now, so don't throw any more. So when you jump, make sure you jump and crouch, otherwise you might hit your head and you're going to fall instantly. So I'm like I'm just a foot underneath the sky barrier right now. But, um, so yeah, this little wall up here is pretty cool. You can drop down in the secret room, but if you don't want to go through all that hassle, but you still want to get in the secret room, I can show you. If you don't want, if that wall isn't that important to you, it doesn't matter. I'm just really like doing everything we possibly can so I'm just trying to show you as much as we can possible. But um what show me here. There by the way, once again there might be some glitches that we did miss. Like anyway, see so you can get inside this wall here and get inside the secret room. It's pretty cool. It's like just near the bus area if you guys know that is. But I know some of these glitches I might miss, but I guarantee you a bunch of them you're probably never gonna see and you're gonna absolutely love them. So hope you guys really appreciate these videos. And um for what's coming up, we have every single map that we're going to be doing, all the way from Array, 
all the way down to Silo. So every single add-on map, we're going to show you a ton of stuff, a bunch of stuff you've probably never even seen. It's going to be awesome. So once you come over here, make sure you get a little care right here. Hop on over. You should see like this little curve type thing. It's real. By the way, at the very end, that's not real anymore. Even though it's still elevated, it does turn fake when it starts turning into like a more of a square shape at the end. That's all fake. So just stay on the rectangle part. You can plan attack there. Now, if you want to break here, there's a little spot that you can stop at. I'll show you over here to the left. There's this little tiny spot underneath the balcony. You can actually get on top of the balcony, but it's a very small ledge, so I did bother showing it. And it's really hassle, and it's just not worth it. And by the way, just a random fact that you guys might want to know, this is actually where um, our clan actually found the care package reach. This is actually the place that we first discovered this technique of getting outside maps with a care package. So this is where it actually all started, getting outside maps with care packages. And ever since that day, like that first month Black Ops came out, the glitch has never been patched since then. But um, anyways, so right now I'm back at the curb that I just was at, and this is right before I went to the balcony. It's because I went there, and then I think I lost my attack and I went back inside the map, so I started going to the far area from here. Now this area, you probably didn't see many people post it other than our channel, because it's a really tough area to get, it's really far out there, but we just kind of discovered it by going exploring outside maps and all that, and using various techniques in order to find new land. But um... Once you make your way down here, just keep on going, going, going. And eventually you'll come to this spot. Like, see that bu yellow building straight in front of me? That big tall tower? Right over there, there's going to be a little small area that you're going to be able to jump across the road and then you're going to be able to get over to this new area. It's pretty cool. So, you can keep going this way. It's quite a ways, as you can see. It's quite a bit of a journey. That's why it's a bit of a difficult. I think my friend misses a class jump, which is really unfortunate, too. And then, and the thing is though, is I ran out of care badge, so right now I'm relying on his care packages. So luckily he did at least make it all the way to that point, otherwise I'd have been screwed. So I was out of care badge the entire time, right now. I was, re was relying on him. So once I got him over here, and then he didn't quite make it, which kind of sucked, because I don't have attack right now, and I need an ammo for my care package to get attack. Fortunately I didn't have one at the time, so I had to wait for another guy to get over here. But all this piece of land here is all real, it's pretty cool. This is like a little texture tile type thing going underneath me. Not the road or anything. Don't get all happy and start running all over the place because something will happen eventually. So, once you come this way, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back towards the other direction. By the way, if you didn't want to go all this way, you really don't need to. Just a heads up. What you could have done is you could have went from the balcony. Like, this is, we're working our way back now. Like, I just, like, from the balcony, you didn't have to go this way. You still come in the same direction, but only go half the way. And you'll see this red building to your left. It's part of the map. What you're going to do is you're going to throw a few carabiners here. I think I make the stack pretty easy. Now when you're on top of this, I'm gonna, I'll see how many I'm going to have to make. Four, that's four stack. That's five. But see that little ledge of that little wooden thing there? It, the wooden ledge is real. Like you can stand on it. But you cannot plant a tactical insertion on it. It will go to the last place where you were on land, which would have been at that textured area way the hell out there. So be very careful. When you plant your tack up here, make sure you move around the roof a lot before you plant it. Because sometimes when you're on like a really small ledge, it doesn't register the attack being planted. So kind of move along the wall side to side, not too much. Don't get too risky and end up falling off or anything. Just move enough around so that when your attack will plant, it'll go to the last place that you're like standing on real ground. And if you're moving around a lot, there's guarantee that one of the times during that time frame that you were moving around, you were probably technically that it registered. So from this like that little ledge there, it's all really good stand on. It's pretty handy. And there's also secret room as I just showed you inside this building, you can hop inside. It's kind of annoying trying to find the spot. But over there is where it just was, and just letting you guys know, to the right was where the balcony was, but that area was way over there. So if you're at the curb over here, you can just make your way down to the balcony right there that we were at, and then just work our way down here. Just wanted to clarify that for so some people that were getting confused on where I'm at now, because I was all over the place there. But you'll, you'll see the building. It's a big red building that's connected to the map. So if you're going from the balcony, just come this way, if you don't want to go to the tile area, way out there. So once you're over here, you could like go over there, if you don't want to get on this roof, you just hop on care over here, but instead since I'm on this wall, I'm just going to hop on over and land on this ground here. Be very careful, there's a lot of fake ground around here, make sure you plant attack. My friend was actually showing me this thing really quickly, I told you I almost forgot it, and then I, he reminded me right before I thought I took the ammo crate there. But um... Once you're up here, you can actually just make a four stack and get inside a little balcony. It's kind of a cool little spot to hide into. But like I said, there's a lot of probably small things that we show that really aren't necessary. It's just like we like showing you everything possible. 
We're just gonna like that. But if you guys have any questions regarding any of these glitches that are on this video, just feel free to just send me and like a message asking me on like how to do a carrot baggage breach. I'll try to explain the best way possible or I can make a tutorial, whatever you guys want. But once you're on this road, you can work your way around it, which would be more difficult. I like to just make like an eight stack of carrot packages and then just sprinkle over the wall. You can land on this wall, but I'm just gonna go over it for now, just be on the safe side. Oh, that carry bag is stacked as well, too. Yeah, I barely made it over. But, um, you can get on that wall, but we're gonna get on it in a second. I'm just gonna get over here first, get my tack. Now that I got my tack, I'm going to head to the end of the road. And there's another building that is real, except the weird thing is that the ground is a bit higher, so you have to throw one on the road, then you have to come over here. It's really weird. It's messed up. But, hop on over to it, and then you're gonna hop over to these other carry bags, and you're gonna make boats. Seven stack, if I recall. I can't remember. There's so many different stacks you have to make sure this game can't really recall. Once again, I have no care about it, just I'm relying on my friend. Once again. So I'm working my way on here. There's still like another area that we're gonna show you after this. And he like failed here. So Okay, I'm on. He's working his way over. <laughs> yeah, so I might talk too fast in my videos. I just always have so much to try to talk about all the time, so it's kinda hard to keep up on the video at the same time. If I'm going too fast, leave a comment and let me know that I'm like talking way too fast or I'm irritating or something and I'll try to fix it up a bit. Alright? But, um, okay. So, once you make your stack, what you're going to do is you're going to hop on top of it. And then you should be able to jump inside the building. It's right, like, you'll see the difference in the wall texture. It'll look like different compared to the other one. So you will be able to tell, like, what part of the building is real and what part's fake so just jump after you see that line that separates the two different textures and then you should be able to get it and then if you can do it you can jump over onto this wall once again another thing to clear up this well first off this is the wall that we jumped over but another thing to clear up that we are not hacking all this speed options just all the private match settings if you look around i have a 30 minute video on how to set up your classes and how they all apply to different scenarios so you guys know how to use them efficiently when you're glitching so if you guys want to do that, go check out my videos. You'll see it not too far down our list of videos. And it will tell you how to do that. And also, if you guys haven't seen how we stack care bags, you should really check it out. Like, watch how we actually stack the care bags. It's really helpful. You see how we lay down? Basically, you look just a little bit below those white bars in the care package, and then they'll bounce back and go underneath you. That way, instead of having to like try to chuck them underneath the care bags, like what I see most people do, that way you're guaranteed, I don't even know what I did there, I screwed up, I thought I was going to go over so I pulled back, but I got lucky. Um, don't, like, that's how you do it, you just lay on top of the carriage, aim a bit below that white bar, and you throw the carriage, it should hit the white bar, and it should bounce back right around approximately in the middle. That way, when you're on, like, fake ground in the middle of nowhere, you can actually still keep going at your stack, instead of trying to throw carriage underneath the stack, which is just a stupid reason to begin with. It's a stupid technique to do it, don't do that. I see everyone doing it, <laughs> don't do it, it never works that well. But this is a cool little area you get inside up here. It's pretty cool. You probably can hear it from inside the map. I'm pretty into it, but I'm just doing it. Once again, there's so many people that keep posting like so many different ways outside the map. You really don't need that many different ways outside the map. You can breach just about anything. Like literally, I can get pretty much almost anywhere in these maps. So you tell me to try breach into it. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. We got crazies coming up next, and I'll see you guys later.